Hi, I'm Joni Kisro. I've already made a video on how I season my crucible, and what I did was I used a handy flux, whereas most people use a borax. But for me, I like to use a handy flux, so you can al always watch that video. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take some scrap sterling silver and some casting grains, mix them together and put them in the crucible, and I'm going to heat it with my torch. What I use is a acetylene torch with a number four tip. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take what I've melted and put it into this indentation I carved out of my fire brick. But my goal today is to melt the silver and pour it in here and then I'm going to put it in the rolling mill and I'm going to flatten it and then I'm going to cut a ring out of a pancake die. So let's get started. So now I'm going to let this cool off a little bit, then I'm going to put it through the rolling mill. So the next thing I'm going to do is quench it, but I don't want to quench it when it's red hot. I let it cool a little bit before I put it into the water. So now I'm going to take it over to the rolling mill and start flattening it out so I can punch it out with a pancake die. So this is what I've gotten so far. I've annealed it several times and ran it through the rolling mill. 
and it's going to be getting longer and longer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it right here, and then I'm going to put it in the rolling mill going the opposite way, the sideways, so then it will be wide enough to put in the pancake die. So this is what I had before I cut it in two. And then I ran it through the rolling mill the other way, so this is going to be a lot better to put through to put in the pancake die. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to texture that and then put it in the pancake die. So I've hammer textured my uh, piece here with a hammer and now I'm going to put it right into the pancake die. So when you put your piece of metal into your pancake die, I call this the window. So I just want to make sure I see whatever I've textured right inside the window. Now I'm going to go punch it out in the hydraulic press. So now I'm going to go uh, cut this tab off and oxidize it, making 